everybody. This is Warlord. What we're going to do today is a simple pushing motion. We're going to go ahead and have the Dylan character push this boarding ladder up to the spacecraft. Now there's probably several different ways to do this. This is just how I do it. So the first thing we need to do is actually have Dylan reach or hold on to the boarding ladder. Now we can use our reach target feature to do that with. We can go into the edit motion layer, reach target button. But as most of us know that have played with this, there's a little more to it than just hooking it straight to a prop. It never goes where we want it to go. So for that, we use dummies. So we're just going to drag in a simple box. I'm going to cut it to 10%. And then I'm going to move it to wherever I want him to hold it. Now we're just going to, this is just going to be our starting off point because chances are uh, we're going to have to do this again. So now I'm just going to make a second one. And so now we have dummy one and dummy two. I do recommend you naming them because if you end up with a lot of dummies uh, in your scene then you might get confused. So you might even want to call it ladder dummy one or ladder dummy two. So let's go ahead and select Chuck, and let's go on back to uh, our edit motion layer, reach target, and let's have him reach for these blocks. Now these blocks will give us something to manipulate, something we can move around and place where we want to. Now I've set up a camera so that we can manipulate the blocks a little easier and we can see what's going on. And we're going to move this block to however we want him to work. Now in this case you may want to go ahead and turn on the gizmo because you can get a little finer motion that way. Grab the other block. Now you need to spend more time than this. I'm going to also set these as dummies. That way we can turn them off with Control D, off or on. Now, like I said, you'd want to take more time. But there we have our basic setup. You'd want to come in here also and probably rotate his wrist, things like that. Uh, but this is our basic setup. This is how we use the reach target feature. Now what we need to do is be sure we attach our dummies to whatever we're moving. In this case, that will be the boarding ladder. So I'm going to select the two dummies and I am going to attach it to the boarding ladder. This way when we move the boarding ladder then the hands will at least try to reach for the ladder. And we'll go back to our preview. And let's move this down about 100 or so. Doesn't have to be perfect. But perfect will work. And now we're going to move the ladder to where we want it, right about there. I'm using this shadow to kind of tell. Now you'll notice everything moved but him. Okay, that's not a problem. We don't have to worry about that. Let's move everything back. Select our character, animation, motion, and let's open up Motion Puppet. Now we're going to want him to walk, so we'll go basic walk, and we're going to mask out the hands the arms, the upper torso. We do not want that to move. Now let's preview it. Now that's the great thing about using Motion Puppet is you get to preview. That was a little bit slow in the legs. Okay. Now I'm going to record it. I'm going to press space. As soon as it gets to where I want, I'm going to press space again to stop it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my character and I'm going to move him into position. Now this may take a little more work than what I'm going to do here just for this demonstration. Because as you can see we've certainly got his body filed up there. I don't think anybody would want to hold on to anything in that manner. Now let's see what we have. Okay, it's working but he's getting a little bit behind. 
just a tad. It's not quite keeping up with it. So we select our character, go into our timeline, go to our transform key. This is where he's going to end up at. We're going to move it from where it's at, about 117 to 100. He should move faster and stay with it. So now all you have to do is come in and position him better. Position him where his arms look natural. Things like that. Come in here and work with this. But just see what we've done in just a matter of a few minutes. We've got this far at least. Now what you'd want to do is use your blocks and of course your body and probably rotate some limbs to put them into position. But for no more time than we spent, that's not bad. Now if we were going to actually use this, I would move them a little bit, click on the prop, open the cockpit, so that it's open once it gets there. Now you can push any object this way using dummies. Just remember that you use dummies for hand placement, then you attach the dummy to the object. 